Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bat Friends Podcast, episode number 60, where two friends rediscover an animated classic. I am one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champion, Joe. What's up, Joe? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> two times in a row, you fuck with me. And then you're just trying to bait me into fucking with you. <laughs> like a fucking woman. So, uh, this episode is called, uh, The Demon's Quest Part 1. Featuring who? Batman. And? Robin. And? The Joker. No, Joker's not in this. Ra's al Ghul? Or as they say, Ra's al Ghul. I, lo- I prefer Ra's. It'll always be Ra's in my eyes. It will. But it's funny, because when I watched this... I was like, they do say Raish in this. So I think I just got Roz from fucking Nolan. Nolan Batman. Was, does he say Roz in that? I'm pretty sure he does. I had to get it from somewhere. I think it's just how I read it. Well, and the fucked up thing is, is... Because there's the whole thing of, like, Denny wrote it one way and then he was corrected. And my buddy Doozer, who's a big Bat fan, and I had a disagreement about it before. Because he's like, because he prefers Raish. And I, when I looked it up again, because I'm like, well, which way was it? I think Raish was how Denny meant it, but Raz is how it should be pronounced in Arabic. But then there's also the argument that Raish is how it would be pronounced in Hebrew, but the person that pointed that out also pointed out Raz al Ghul in Arabic means head of the demon. Uh, and he's they're like, I don't know what the fuck it means in Hebrew. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was written by Denny O'Neill and directed by Kevin Altieri. I, it's kind of the niche niche thing for me. Where I prefer I'm, niche. Where I prefer niche, just like I prefer Roz. Yeah. And Raish just sounds kind of douchey to me. I, it doesn't flow off the tongue well. Like I, I'm not gonna judge someone for using niche. Right. But it does. Like when I hear it, I'm just like, oh, just well, it really it makes sounds. Because if you watched, have you watched Batman versus TMNT? No, I haven't. They say it both ways in that in that movie. Really? Yes. That's fantastic. And it's hilarious because it's a Favinsky and I've had that conversation too. And that's what I said to him where I'm just like, it's the same fucking production. They say it two different ways. <laughs> Robin, 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 it's raining. Well, it always rains in Gotham. You should have a Robin a ring. What would it be shaped like? A robin. Tweet, tweet. Oh, that's right. That's what I should have looked up. I should look at the drum machine. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that in between our episodes. It's kind of a weird day. It's a picture of Bruce on his dresser. On the other side of the Flying Grayson's poster? Well, I mean, it's but it's also right next to his parents. But it's still weird because, you know, it's weird. I don't know why Roz, spoiler alert, Goes with the whole Anubis head. That's never made sense to me, but okay. I guess because the God of Death and the whole Lazarus thing, but mm-hmm. still, no. I'm impressed with the guy. Because it's a Lazarus guy... pit. Go on, finish your thought. I was going to say, I'm impressed with the guy with the flashlight. Yeah. He held it on Robin the whole time he's passing out. It's just. He's got to follow him. But, <laughs> steam so work. Anubis is an Egyptian god, and Lazarus is a, is a Christian figure. So it's kind of weird for, you know, the Lazarus Pit and the Nubis Head. I don't know. This episode's weird. It's all fancy made up shit, so. It's Dennis O'Neill. Dennis. Kevin Altieri. Altieri. Altieri's on some good stuff. This should have been like a four parter. I feel like they jammed too much in. Yeah, for what they did though, I really like the the two parter. I mean, I understand it's gonna be it was tough back then to probably even pitch a two parter. Yeah, but we just got done with the two parter that felt like it should have been one episode, and then we have a two parter that feels like it should have been four. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with you. I'm just yeah, yeah. And in fairness, sad even, Alfred, <laughs> if you made Alfred cry. There was somebody that always said that because of fucking Dark Knight Rises. It was like, Batman made Alfred cry. I can never forgive him for that. <laughs> but, uh... 
I mean, at this point in the show, we've had plenty of two-parters. Because we had Clayface, we had Two-Face. Yeah. That's a... It's a weird posing of that photo, but... You should probably go to Rome. So they know your identity, detective. No, I'm just saying, like, today it wouldn't shock me for, like, you know, we got shows like Breaking Bad and all that, where it's like one giant story. I feel like even back then, to say, like, we're going to be a two-parter, that someone in a suit was, would be like... It depends, eh. though, because when you look back, like, every cartoon, except for this, because this was later, like, TMNT, it launched with a four-part, five-part miniseries. Did it? Yes. Okay. Maybe That's and wrong, Actually, if we, if we grab my DVDs, the first season is one disc. It's literally five episodes. That's it. I remember a lot of shows doing that, like the, yes. the small... And it was, but it was very, it was popular for animated series because it was, you you kind of invest for that five parter. You don't do a large order, mm-hmm. so you're doing fi- you tell a complete story. I mean, Transformers. That's how Transformers launched. That's how GA Joe launched. It was actually very popular and very common. This kind of broke the mold in, like, doing an initial order and then just going. Well, yeah, it was probably much easier to sell. <laughs> yeah, because this is after Burton's movie. Yeah, but you've because you've listened to Fat Man and Batman because they talk about that where it was like it was kind of it wasn't super easy, but it was definitely. Well, I mean, just they had a sympathetic ear. Just to say, like, hey, we're gonna do a Batman show was probably right. an easy sell. Um, to do it this way was yeah a little more difficult. But they also had a sympathetic ear. Yeah, because it came out of the whole. T- it actually, came, this show happened because of Tiny Toons. Yeah, love Tiny Toons. So do I. But that's easier than like, hey, I got these four turtles and they wear masks and they do kung fu. Yeah, first off, they're ninjas. They don't do kung fu. They do kung fu. <laughs> it's the infinity teapot. <laughs> it's the infinity goblet. <laughs> World's greatest detective. It's the infinity teapot. Come on. Oh, okay. I just saw the goblet at first. <laughs> it's not a teapot. He's pouring wine. Whatever. Wine pot. Roz is getting drunk. He's getting fucked up. Now you spilled the wine. Party foul. Come on. As Napoleon told me, a strong will can fuel the frail physique. I don't believe you. Napoleon was like 100 years ago. <laughs> Calcutta. Chicago. Oh, this fucking show. So this bald dude. Ubu. Is, uh, yeah. Sit, Ubu, sit. <laughs> Good dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's an incense shop. He likes to push Batman's buttons. He does. Infidel! Roz goes first. That'll, that'll be important in a minute. It's about to be a jihad on Batman. That's two. I love that Batman gives him three strikes. <laughs> <laughs> these guys this is a weird these are weird choices so got the bandaged up gloves got the weird turban into a face mask no shirt yes look at him <laughs> Roz just jerking off in the corner you know who does the voice for Roz no the scientist from TMNT 2. The movie, The Secret of the Ooze. It's a good movie. Well, I'm going to watch it. I mean, I own it multiple ways, but I'm going to watch it again because it's on voodoo. I don't care what anyone says. Those first two are really good, and I do enjoy the third one, even though it's pretty bad. The fourth one's good. I, I think the fourth the, one. The TMNT. That's the one you said you didn't see, the CG. Oh. No, I was talking about... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. it's in that universe. You don't know. Well, they're all the, in the universe. I know that that like connects the multiverse, right? No, that's the fourth. If you, that's the fourth in that series. Oh, really? Because at the end, he there's a bit where he puts something on a shelf, and it scrolls back, and it's the broken canister from two. It's the samurai helmet from three, and it's Shredder's helmet from one. That's the fourth movie in that oh. series. Like, Does that one not set up a multiverse? Not really. Or am I thinking of a di- enough? One further along. 
I think you're thinking of Tur- Turtles Forever, which was the cap to the two- 2003 animated series, but it was also technically released as a mo- as like a direct DVD movie. Because mm-hmm. that is literally a multiverse where it's like the Turtle comics is one universe. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not the CG. Because I knew like every new iteration of the Turtles set was up basically a new yeah. universe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Roz isn't wrong. He's, He's not, not wrong. He's like, you got all this fucking money. What are you doing with it? Nothing. I ain't got no money, but I got my bald manservant here driving me in the middle of the fucking desert. So, yes. it's going to date this episode, but I don't care. Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much you pay attention to this stuff, but like they're you know they're talking about um, X Men coming to MCU, blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> I was on a page and I'm looking at the, all this stuff and it says X-Men to be based on Earth blah blah blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like okay what is that because I don't know enough or care enough to know and I click on it and I read the article and it's saying that the X-Men for the MCU is going to be based on Ultimate's X-Men okay and I'm just sitting there like you mean like the rest of the MCU yeah <laughs> fair yeah that's fair like, the only one that's not really is uh, Doctor Strange. Well, yeah, but, like, the whole lead-up to Avengers, yeah. yes, they took 616 Universe stories, but, but it's all based on the, the Ultimates. Yeah, yeah, it's much, it's ultimized, at least. Yeah. So, spoiler for the episode that you're maybe watching, or did watch, or whatever. Here, kitty, kitty. Um, Roz didn't go first this time. Yeah. Batman went first, and Ubu just shut his fucking mouth. That's how Batman knew it was a trap, because he's the world's greatest detective. It's true. Meanwhile, Roz figured out that Bruce Wayne is Batman. So tell me, who's the real world's greatest detective? Sherlock Holmes. Fair. He was an opium monster, though. Listen, a lot of brilliant people And do cocaine! Drugs. And cocaine, fine. A lot of brilliant people do drugs. I mean, have you done DMT? <laughs> Chocolate pudding. <laughs> oh no, covered in a cape! This works. I do it in my house all the time. Just wrap a fucking cat in a cape <laughs> and then pour fucking acid in there. Yeah, it calms them down real quick. <laughs> Never shake a jaguar. <laughs> He's got his tongue out. That is adorable. That's fantastic. Sleepy kitty. That's not a tabby. He's not that strong. No, that's bullshit. Call bullshit on this whole thing. That's really Superman dressed as that guy. <laughs> that's Luther after stealing Superman's powers. But like, okay, so think about it. So they've already gone to Calcutta, some other place. No, they went to Calcutta, and here. And we're like halfway through the episode. Mm-hmm. You're telling me this couldn't have been an episode in itself? Right here? Just end it right here. Pat yeah. it out a little more. Maybe not have Roz literally just show up in the Batcave. <laughs> Fucking See, Ubu's so Batman pleased with himself. Up. Who was so fucking pleased with himself? Batman's like, yeah, I got you, bitch. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. <laughs> Sorry, I started, I started channeling I'm the juggernaut bitch for a minute. <laughs> that's all those motherfuckers talk about. <laughs> Batman in a winter coat. Batman in a parka is a hilarious visual. <laughs> so I got my bat suit. Then I got my parka, and then I got my, my parachute. Not my batachute, just my parachute. Also, I can't remember if it's this series or if it's a future movie, but he has a bat parka. <laughs> it's probably some A barka, right? if you will. Yes. No, I prefer bat parka. And it's white. Racist. Listen, white chocolate is the spirit of chocolate. I just had an ice cream cone. 
from the dollar store. I looked at it because it was a single serving. Oh ice no, cream Raza cone. Ghoul's dead. Yeah, so he totally is. Like, you t- can you tell him my voice? <laughs> uh, so it's a single serving, and it looked like it had chocolate sprinkles on it. And I'm like, I've never had like an ice cream cone you buy at the store. It's got chocolate sprinkles. I'm intrigued by this. I was lied to, and it was actually like a cookies and cream shell. But as a result, so it was like a cookie crumble. And there was literally a shell around the ice cream that tasted like white chocolate for the cream. That was and fantastic. it was quite delightful. I'm a big fan of white chocolate. And of course you are. You're racist. It's true. Black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. That's what I'm talking about. Blood man! Wait, Green Arrow doesn't need guns? God, I wish I hadn't let him shoot up that parka. I'm really fucking cold now. <laughs> I wish they had shot down that helicopter. This is a long fucking walk. <laughs> so, first of all, three jokers delayed again. Yeah, I know. I um, laugh about it every time. <laughs> that book's never coming out. Did you see the preview? That book's never coming out. Did you see Bleeding Cool's preview pages? No. So, very rare do I get Bleeding Cool. I try cool. not to go to Bleeding Cool anymore, just purely because of the pop at this know. point. Um, I gotta give Bleeding Cool credit on this one, because they made a headline saying... <laughs> Three Jokers shows Batman's new ability. Uh, and I'm just like, okay. I think I saw the headline. And yeah. I clicked on it. <laughs> I always liked this design. I like the... What, the Three Musketeers? Or the the bandana thing? mask. <laughs> no, I like the bandana mask. Oh, yeah. I always like when they do a Daredevil with a bandana mask. Yeah. I Even sometimes the Turtles have done it, and I like it. Yeah. Not all the time, but you know. Um, but yeah, his new ability in Three Jokers is that his bat symbol can be a light. Pretty sure that's been a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's been a Spider-Man thing forever. No, but yeah, right, <laughs> right. But I'm sure I'm pretty sure it's been a Batman thing. How long have you been here? A couple days. I'm not sure. Robin, you got a shit, dude. Like, what do you mean you're not sure? He's really constipated. You gotta eat. You gotta drink water. Then there's this asshole. Thinking he's cute with his fucking stupid Anubis I mask. saw you die! <laughs> right? This is just the Xanatos Gambit anyway. Please <laughs> love me. He puts his hands... His way, he puts his hands on his hips like, Well, honey, you have some explaining to do. I'm very disappointed in you, Roz. That's fucking sassy, Batman. <laughs> I will say this. Roz's mascara is on point. The dude knows how to get his makeup done. Right? I think he's been watching those YouTube tutorials. I mean, he needs a little dress for men, but... No, nah, he's... No, nah, no, nah, that's the genius mark. That's fine. <laughs> so like every that. other guy has facial hair, and the guy in the middle had mutton chops. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> I'm very proud of whoever drew that. I do know. I know it's a kid's cartoon, but I love that they just have Batman run everything down again. Like, just just in case you missed it. <laughs> but this is totally the Xanatos Gambit. I knew you would do everything I wanted. Then there's Talia. Then there's Talia. It's Talia. Ooh, oh, she does have another eye. They're both like, oh, fuck shit. She has two eyes. <laughs> you ready to go? Uh, Batman, I got a I mean, boner. Yeah, I thought she was going to take care of us, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, we can Eiffel Tower this shit? <laughs> and then Ubu. Being a fucking dick. And they're like, the fuck? I love how Ubu's like, Ubu, you've been riding with him for days. You don't understand. Like, oh shit, I wasn't showing you my real strength. <laughs> and that's three. This is what a frozen dick gives you. Hello. <laughs> well, fuck that ass. <laughs> Bitch, we've met like once. Mm. For the record, Catwoman's gonna be pissed. How you live for like 150 years you ain't got no sons? Just start sticking your dick and stuff. That's what Zeus did. Worked out for him. Didn't he like turn into a buffalo or something? Zeus? Yeah, he Probably. 
You know, he, turned, I know he, he turned into a swan and fucked some chick. He turned all kinds of things and fucked some chick. Because back in Greece, bitches love swans. <laughs> so, Catwoman... Gonna be pissed! If we ever get a chance to write Batman comic, <laughs> we need to get Damien and Catwoman to bone. That's awkward. So that there's that awkward moment where Batman is marrying Catwoman... And she's like, hey, Steps. Oh. I mean, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Batman fucked Batgirl, so, like, whatever. Well, I mean. I mean, when was the last time you were on a porn site? Everybody's uh, fucking their, step, their steps on all the time now. <laughs> it's true. Why is that a thing? I don't know. I've made my peace with it, but with the knowledge that none of them are actually related. Yeah. So I can just be like, She's hot. Let me look at that. But again, okay, so now so now we've had them go through the whole thing. We've had the whole, like, I've figured out your Xanatos gambit, Raz. And then, you know, we come to the Lazarus pit. In one episode! You could have at least got three episodes out of this. Maybe two. I'll give you two solid episodes before we get to this point. Because yep. a lot's gone on. He stopped breathing. We have to drop him into this weird acid-looking shit. Trust me, it'll work. So, Kay. when I watched this recently, yeah, I just got done reading Batman, Superman, issue 7, I believe it is. Literally. Where they drop um, the destroyed bottle of Kandor, or City of Kandor. Uh-huh. Into Lazarus Pit, and then there's little mini Kryptonians attacking everybody, and then Batman and Superman got to fight little mini Kryptonians. And that's all I thought of when I saw this. That's dumb. Oh no, Roz is blind. Because <laughs> we've established that the red and eyes means you're blind. So, really, what's going on here is we opened up a portal to the six one six universe, and that's now Daredevil. No, that's clearly Namor. Look at those green pants. It's true. It, I'm fit as fuck. You had some wings onto those fucking pants and you got Namor. The laughing was always awkward. I don't know why Talia thought this was a good idea. Like, she, the, the laugh is so weird. You can't hear it right now, folks, because I don't want to get sued. I mean, I wouldn't get sued, but... Put her down! Bitch, I can kick you. And then Uber's just like, ha yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, real tough where you're on the ground, Batman. I said put her down. To be continued. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Let's find out right now. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. Because it's like, there's no weight to any of it, because you move through it so quickly. So it's like, the big reveal that, oh, Roz is behind it all. Like, I mean, we just found out Roz was a thing ten minutes ago. Yeah. Why do I care? This, see, I'm thinking if this was today, yeah, that the whole, like, who's Roz thing would have been, like... <gasps> A background. Well, back in episode one of season three. See, but they tried to they tried to play it up a little bit because they introduced Talia to us. Why does it do this? They introduced Talia to us, and um, at the end she contacts her father, but yeah. they don't reveal who her father is. Yeah. So there was a little bit of that. A little bit, but but yeah, I feel like more of the things from the beginning of this episode that you're talking about. Yeah. You should have been had, played up earlier. Yes, yeah, so you should have had you, you know. Uh, they could have had um, what they should have done is Batman helps Roz somehow you know whatever fucking write it Batman helps Roz do something and like you have it like two or three times or like and Batman's on a mission and he happens to run into Roz and they help you know whatever and then you have fuck you don't even have to have Robin get kidnapped you just have Ta- no that's what you do you have Talia get kidnapped Roz comes to Batman saying, "Help me find my daughter." Mm-hmm. At that point, and that's when that's when he enters the Batcave. So that's where they've been working together. And then it's like, oh, "I knew you were Bruce Wayne." Oh my God! Then you have Batman and Rob. See, listen to me. This is fucking how you'd write shit. 
You have Batman and Robin go to help Roz and Ubu. At the first place they go, that's when Robin gets kidnapped. So now Batman's helping Roz, but he's also trying to rescue his son. Or his, yeah, he's trying to rescue his son. Um, he's trying to rescue Robin without the bullshit of like, well, whoever kidnapped your ward also kidnapped my daughter. Like it's just there's it's just throw, there's no weight to it. It's just like you know. So then. And that's where, so, like, that's where you have your build-up. And then when you go into this, you do the three-parter of, like, the first part, Robin gets hit at me. It's like, oh, no, we gotta find this. Blah, 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 blah. And then you also don't have to have Robin, like, in this chair for five days, <laughs> shitting himself. Like. And then that's where you also can pepper in Roz saying all this weird shit that he talked to, like, he knew Rasputin and fucking talked to Napoleon. And Batman's just like, like. That's weird. Like, it's real weird things to say. Because <laughs> that's just it, too. Like, Roz says to him, Napoleon told me something, and Batman doesn't immediately look at him and be like, you're fucking lying. <laughs> like, Batman's not that... St- well, it, it, well, in fairness, this is the 40s. So he could have known Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> when did Napoleon die? Hold on, I gotta Google this. Because now I'm curious if this actually would have worked, because that's even funnier to me, and I never thought about that. Be eighteen hundreds, yeah. But if it's late eighteen, I know. But it's, I want to say it's like late. I want to say it's after. It's after the revolution. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna say pre. No, War. oh yeah, first reign. No, he died in eighteen twenty one. So yes, bullshit. You knew Napoleon. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's one hundred twenty years before. Well, I was right. It is pre Civil War. That is pre Civil War. <laughs> Speaking of pre Civil War, where can people find you on the internet? PreCivilWar.com. I don't know if that's a website. Don't go there. <laughs> it's probably some fucking website worshipping slavery. Uh, JoePank.com. J-O-E-P-A-N-C.com. I have links to my YouTube. I have links to my Twitch. I have my links to this show. I have links to my other show. All the links. Uh, you can also go to EnjoyYourFrozenDick.com, which will take you to the official Bat Friends merchandise store. I know times are tough, but I also know you got some of that stimulus cash, so, you know, hook a brother up. You can also find me on Twitter, at Cthulhu Holmes, or at Joe Pank. They'll both get you there. And on Instagram, uh, Joe Pank 36 where you can get all your chocolate pudding picture needs. And if you really love me, and you know you should, you go to patreon.com. Slash Joe Pank, where for as little as two dollars, you can get my other podcast, Joe Meets World, up to three days early, uncut, unedited, full Monty. Um, Priestofwar.com is not a website, so if you'd like to purchase it, you can. Uh, <laughs> what we come up with all these good website names, and nobody has them. So that's how you know we're in the the, the end of late stage capitalism. <laughs> um, you can find me at Fortress Chris on Twitter, FortressComedies.com, or most importantly, ChrisRunt.com, C H R I S R U N D T dot com. Um, that's kind of the hub of everything I do, so go there. And uh, remember, five stars on the podcatchers. Um, like, subscribe, share on the YouTube. And if you want to get this early and help, uh, the two of us out, go to <laughs> patreon.com slash fortuscompnews for $2. Two. You can get this three days early. Thanks all for listening. I had Taco Bell for dinner!